Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Chambersburg Area Senior High School's Navy Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps Commissioning Ceremony. For the last five and one half years, Chambersburg Area Senior High School has operated a Navy National Defense Cadet Corps program. This program is the entry-level junior ROTC experience. During this time, Chambersburg cadets have worked and competed with NJROTC units across the Northeastern United States, striving to achieve the level of performance that would earn them national recognition and a coveted conversion to a full-fledged NJROTC. Today, we are gathered together to celebrate the accomplishments of the Cassius cadets as they are commissioned as a fully operational Navy Junior ROTC. In naval tradition, each time a new ship joins the fleet, she is brought to life in a formal ceremony that mans the ship and prepares her for sea. Today, we will emulate that ceremony as the Cassius cadets take their rightful place among the rank of America's NJROTC cadets. The Chambersburg Company of Cadets would like to thank the following special guests for their attendance today. Pennsylvania State Senator, Colonel, retired, Doug Mastriano. Pennsylvania State Representative, Rob Kaufman. Pennsylvania State Representative, Paul Schmel. Members of the Chambersburg Area School District, School Board. Members of the Chambersburg Town Council. Dr. Dion Betts, Superintendent, Chambersburg Area School District. Mr. Bradley Ocker, Principal, Chambersburg Area Senior High School. Captain Matt Bourne, representing Navy Recruiting Command. Captain Michael Hritz, Senior Naval Representative to the U.S. Army War College. Commander Brandon Smith, representing Navy Talent Acquisition Group, Pittsburgh. Commander Howe, representing Navy Reserve Officer Training Corps, Penn State. Representatives of the American Legion, Post 46. Veterans of Foreign Wars, Post 1599. American Veterans, Post 244. Landis McLeave, Marine Corps League. Benevolent and Protective Order of the Elks Lodge, 600. Daughters of the American Revolution and other represented civic groups. Please rise for the arrival of the official party and presentation of the colors and our national anthem. Commander, United States Navy, retired, arriving. <laughs> Chambersburg Area Senior High School, arriving. Chambersburg Area School District, arriving. <laughs> Commander, United States Navy, retired, arriving. Pennsylvania 33rd Senatorial District, arriving.
The next portion of the ceremony will be the presentation of the colors followed by our national anthem. Gentlemen wearing hats, please remove them in observance of our national anthem. Guests, please remain standing. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Twenty-four September 2019, from Senior Naval Science Instructor to Navy National Defense Corps, Corps, Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Subject: Caches NNDCC Order 5761.1, 2019. When directed by reported senior, form the Chambersburg High School Company of Cadets for a commissioning ceremony. Upon completion of ceremony, assume operations as a fully certified Navy Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps with all the rights and privileges thereof. Signed, Bruce A. Apgar, Junior Commander, United States Navy, retired. Please be seated. The Senior Naval Science Instructor Commander Bruce Apgar will now address the audience. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming out today. This is, this is a really big day for us here. Um, just a few acknowledgments. Again, this, this community is overwhelmingly supportive of not only this program, but this school and this school district. Um, on, on behalf of myself and all of the cadets, I want to extend my thanks to all those in attendance if we missed you as part of our listing of people in attendance, I apologize for that. Uh, I do want to take a moment and acknowledge our resident World War II veteran, Sam Worley. Would you mind standing up for a moment, please? So a round of applause for him, please. Thank you. 
Also, I'd like to take a, a moment of personal privilege and just recognize Master Sergeant Montney for the five and a half years of tireless effort that he's put into this program to get it where it is today. Um, not Over the last three years, not only has he become my co-worker and my friend, but I'm glad to call him a shipmate in this. I appreciate his efforts. I thank you all for coming out tonight and or that's this afternoon, and braving that weather. Um, in the Navy, we don't mind the rain. Ships don't work without water. And finally, I would like to thank Senator Mastriano for coming out today to be our, our guest speaker. Um, Senator Mastriano is actually a classmate of mine from the U.S. Army War College class of 2010, so I'm glad to have another shipmate on the stage with me here today. Thank you. The principal of Chambersburg Area Senior High School, Mr. Bradley Auker, will now address the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, I am extremely honored to be standing in front of you on this ceremonious occasion. Six school years ago, the notion of providing a junior ROTC program at Chambersburg High School appeared to only be a dream. We all knew at that time, given the numerous families and acquaintances that are impacted by the military presently and in the past, as well as the vast array of veterans affairs groups that support our community and school district, that providing a student leadership platform designed by the United States Navy would someday positively impact our future. Well, those days have come and continue to shine great rays of positive sunlight on our school and community. Now, five years later, 6,804 community service hours passed, 837 cadets taught, and currently, 112 cadets strong. We, that's right, we stand united to display our commitment to a program that in years to come will only grow finer and become abundant with young adults who seek to become the leaders of our community and nation. It is my hope that all those in attendance and those who seek to learn more about the CASH's Navy JROTC program will not fail to follow their dreams. Because just like this program six years ago, working together as a community and school, we have made this dream a reality. And I thank you. The superintendent of Chambersburg Area School District, Dr. Dion Betts, will now address the audience. Thank you. On behalf of the Chambersburg Area School District uh, Board of School Directors, I would like to uh, thank you all for coming today. We are extremely proud of our cadets. Uh, I really need to acknowledge the hard work and dedication of uh, Principal Bradley Ocker, Commander Apgar, and Master Sergeant Motley for many, many years of work, service to make this day a reality. So thank you especially for this. Uh, this is a great opportunity for our children and the entire community of uh, Chambersburg Area School District. And we certainly have a bright future with this program uh, growing with it. So thank you very much. Commander Jimmy Miller, NJROTC Area 4 Manager, will now read the commissioning document. Company, action, hunt! From Naval Service Training Command Department of the Navy to Chambersburg Area School District. Conversion to Naval Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps. The Secretary of the Navy has approved the request to establish a Navy Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps at Chambersburg Area Senior High School 
we are looking forward to a great future at Chambersburg Area Senior High School as we work together to develop these young men and women in the values and skills that they will need to become better citizens and effective leaders. Effective date to establish is 1 October 2019. Job well done. From Rear Admiral Sands, Captain Tim Dazzler, United States Navy retired, and the entire NJROTC family, we say congratulations. Company commander, front and center. We are honored today to be joined by our special guest, State Senator Douglas Mastriano. Senator Mastriano is a Pennsylvania native and graduate of Eastern University, currently representing the Pennsylvania 33rd Senatorial District. Additionally, education includes master's degrees from the Joint Intelligence College, Air University, the U.S. Army War College, ultimately earning a Ph.D. in history from the University of New Brunswick. Senator Mastriano retired as a colonel after 30 years service in the U.S. Army. Oh, uh, outstanding. Congratulations. This is a great day for Chambersburg and for the county. This nation has been both forged by fire and the crucible of war, and in the case of the Navy, forged by what? The sea. Oh, 
Uh, it's, uh, as a token Army guy up here, I salute the United States Navy and his ROTC program. Uh, my favorite sailor was my dad. He retired after 22 years in the Navy, starting off in airships, that's blimps, and then ending in helicopters a long time ago. And one thing that really stood out to me is uh, my dad had a rough go growing up. He's a high school dropout and he was getting in a lot of trouble. And about the second or third time he's hauled before the judge, the judge said either join the Navy or go to jail. And my dad joined the Navy. And he said, Doug, the Navy changed my life. And it did. It changed the course of his life and changed the course of my life as well. And I stand before you here as your senator as well as a retired Army colonel proudly saying that the United States Navy has left a great legacy upon this nation. Uh, it, it, you know, you know what, when I was in the Army, I had entertained no ideas of running for office. But then I looked at the condition of our country and our state, and it was, it was a time such as this that we have to rise up and fight and serve and continue to serve. And it does my heart good, although looking at the condition of the state and nation, and we've lost our way morally in so many other areas, that I see uh, young men and women standing behind me, ready to serve, preparing to serve, probably going to end up serving after their introduction to the United States Navy and Armed Forces here in this ROTC program. We stand on the shoulders of giants of all those who went before us to preserve this great country and to give us the freedoms we deserve that so many of us take for granted. Yet that's not true for our area. Our area has one of the highest ratios of veterans, people who believe the United States and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania are worth fighting for. So I look back here with pride and with hope at the next generation going to rise up and finish a job that my generation couldn't do. In addition to all this, it's especially to note that we're within a few days after the 244th birthday of the United States Navy, which has served this nation faithfully across the generations and centuries, defending us from foes far and wide and abroad, across the seven seas and in foreign nations, together with the United States Marine Corps forward deployed and often the first to be seen on foreign soil or off the of foreign shores to fight the good fight for freedom. I wish this program all the best. It's a blessing to Chambersburg. Keep fighting a good fight. Young men and women, we're looking for you to rise up and stand in these dark times when the nation's lost its way. There is right and wrong. The United States of America is the greatest nation in the face of the earth, and it's worth fighting for. God bless you all. God bless the United States of America and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. This concludes today's ceremony. In just a moment, you will hear Cadet Lieutenant Commander Ian Brown issuing the last command of the day as he dismisses the company to embark on the next phase of their voyage as a fully certified Navy Junior ROTC. On behalf of the cadets, instructors, and ad administration, thank you for taking the time to share this occasion with us and thank you for your support of our program. A brief reception will be held in the library which can be accessed by the steps at the back of the auditorium. Let me just write down my personal 